We start with the expression 2x plus 2 divided by square root of 4x square plus 8x plus 13, which appears in the integrand of the given integral. The numerator can be written as 2 times x plus 1, and the denominator can be written as square root of 4 times x square plus 2x plus 1 plus 9 or 3 square. This is equal to 2 times x plus 1 divided by square root of 4 times x plus 1 whole square plus 3 square. Now set x plus 1 is equal to 3 upon 2 tan theta. Therefore this expression simplifies to 2 times 3 upon 2 times tan theta in the numerator and divided by square root of 4 times 9 upon 4 tan square theta plus 3 square. This simplifies and we get 3 tan theta divided by square root of 3 square multiplied by in brackets 1 plus tan square theta. This simplifies to tan theta upon sec theta which is equal to sin theta upon cos theta multiplied by 1 upon 1 upon cos theta. And therefore the value of this expression is equal to sin theta. In other words, sin inverse of 2x plus 2 divided by square root of 4x square plus 8x plus 13, which is the integrand of the given integral, is equal to theta. Now since x plus 1 is equal to 3 upon 2 tan theta, if we take the derivative of both sides, we get dx is equal to 3 upon 2 times sec square theta d theta. We substitute these results in the given integral to get integral theta times 3 upon 2 times sec square theta d theta. This is equal to 3 upon 2 times integral theta sec square theta d theta. Integrating by parts, we get 3 upon 2 times in brackets theta times the integral of sec square theta, which is tan theta, minus integral of the integral of sec square theta, which is tan theta, times the derivative of theta, which is 1. This is equal to 3 upon 2 times in brackets theta tan theta minus the integral of tan theta which is equal to ln of sec theta plus the constant of integration. Now tan theta is equal to 2 upon 3 times x plus 1 therefore sec theta which is equal to square root of 1 plus tan square theta is equal to square root of 1 plus 4 upon 9 times x plus 1 whole square and this is equal to 1 upon 3 times square root of 9 plus 4 times in brackets x plus 1 whole square. And therefore the value of sec theta is equal to 1 upon 3 times square root of 4x square plus 8x plus 13. Therefore the value of the given integral is equal to 3 upon 2 times in brackets 2 upon 3 times x plus 1 times tan inverse of 2 upon 3 times x plus 1 minus ln of 1 upon 3 times square root of 4x square plus 8x plus 13 plus the constant of integration. This can be written as 3 upon 2 times 2 upon 3 times x plus 1 times tan inverse of 2 upon 3 times x plus 1 minus 3 upon 2 times in brackets ln of square root of 4x square plus 8x plus 13 minus ln 3 plus the constant of integration. This simplifies to x plus 1 times tan inverse of 2 upon 3 times x plus 1 minus 3 upon 2 times half of ln of 4x square plus 8x plus 13 plus 3 upon 2 times ln 3 plus the constant of integration. The 3 upon 2 times ln 3 is also a constant, so that plus the constant of integration c can be denoted by another constant c dash. And therefore the value of the given integral is equal to x plus 1 times tan inverse of 2 upon 3 times x plus 1 minus 3 upon 4 times ln of 4x square plus 8x plus 13 plus c dash. And this is the required answer.